Absolute Beginners goes to the Ring City downloaded content, DLC for short. So we already opened the first bonfire, but we're going to show you how you can get to it, how you can um, access the DLC. So Cathedral of the Deep, you should find an NPC kneeling here. If you do not find him, look on the mantle and you'll find a piece of rag. Just examine it and it'll take you to the first bonfire. Which is the drag heap. So let's go there. Now we're going to get two um, items from here which are very, 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 very important for the next DLC. We'll be coming to that soon. For now, we recommend you come to a DLC, uh, Dark Souls 3 DLC, on your first playthrough. Don't leave it till your next playthrough or your other playthrough. Uh, it's more, uh, well, it's a little, little, little bit more easier. So, um, for now, uh, we're just going to go through all the DLC, the first section, by killing summoners. Three summoners that control three um, laser beam angels. If you don't get these angels, you will not be able to pick up any item. And you'll keep dying all the time. So if you haven't talked to this NPC, talk to her. Buy what you want. There are two areas to drop down. One is here and one is where the creators have put a sign. Get the ember from here. So as noted, we're going to get three summoners to kill the three angels. Don't pick up any items unless we do. Your priority is to kill those three angels to have the first section of the DLC um, more safely and safer to collect items and explore. So, undercover through the entire area. And I think we're ready. Don't jump, just drop in these sections, okay? And when you land on white ash on the ground, it's it pillows your fall, so you won't take any fall damage. Right, go straight down here. Don't pick up any items. Roll away. Take the first right and jump down again. Just drop off. Don't pick up that item. Hide behind this um, broken down tower or chimney. Wait till the angel turns its back. Let's go to the left. <laughs> Disregard the knights. Go to the left again. Straight down. And you'll see the first summoner for the first angel. Target it, kill it, and the angel is down. They don't respawn, thank goodness. Okay, let's go for angel number two. A bit more trickier. Go undercover. Now whatever bonfires we come to, we will be lighting them for future use. There's no need not to. No reason not to. Just fall down here. And let's light and sit at our second bonfire. Remember, we're just going for the angels. One is down, we have two more to go. So let's take out the second one. It's a little more tricky. Just do what we do and um, you won't die, you won't lose your souls. And you'll thank yourself um, later when you explore the DLC. 
that you kill the angels first. So wait till he it laser beams those two enemies. Put your cat ring on. We're gonna jump on. We're gonna go there where that uh, hut is, straight ahead. And we're gonna jump off, running jump. As soon as you land, hit your attack button, okay? So halfway there, go undercover again. Switch to your weapon. Run. Jump. Attack button. Okay. Follow the branch. And there's the second one. Take it out. Second angel is down. Now because we're not going to come down here again, pick up uh, the items you see. It's one from the summoner and I think it's an ember, the other one is an ember. You don't need to do this running jump uh, again. Right. Let's go up the branch. We have a third and final angel to take out. It's in a swamp area, so all swamps in Dark Souls 3 are poisonous. So equip your purple mask clump if you haven't done that already. Keep your cut ring on. Just follow the tree the way it goes, don't jump off anywhere. And let's light our third bonfire, since we are here. So you don't have to do this again. Okay. Travel back to the second bonfire. Urban Peak Ruins. So as you see, the angels do not respawn. Uh, so it's always a good um, enough reason if you want to take them out before you search the area or pick up items. As soon as you drop down from the hut, take a right and drop down and you're into the swamps. Disregard everything. Just keep going. And the laser angel has been activated. First tree trunk you see, take it, take it all up. Disregard any enemy that's chasing you. Just go up, 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 up. Drop down here to the right. Keep going up. And go on to the rooftops to the right. Keep going up. Follow the branch. Drop onto the rooftops to your left. And take out the last summoner. And all the angels are down. So we can now explore the area. In comfort. Basically you only have the enemies the basic enemies to tackle. Let's go back and head to Firelink. Ah, well met. And re your Estus Flask to 8-7.
Eight be orange, careful. seven blue. Change your armor if you wish. We are wearing this armor. Various pieces from different sets. These rings. Keep the slippers on, it's always. Uh, you can get easily past some enemy if they don't hear you. Alright, first bonfire. The drag heap. Just check the spells. Um, put these spells on. But if you want, you can use any spell, any old spell you want. Now we're going to drop from the left here, where the NPC is. There are three summoners below. If you don't kill them, they keep respawning enemies against you. So the first is going to appear here. Take it out. Good. The second summoner is on the left, up some steps, so take it out with uh, arrows. And the third is near where we dropped down, crashed into a roof. So if you're quick enough, um, she won't activate her spell and she will not summon enemies and i think we were quick enough okay no enemies spawned which is good right we need to go up to an upper level so up the steps up these stairs now this enemy uh you need to jump attack it and again, you might not one-shot it, but you'll take out a lot of damage. So wait till it drops down. Okay, good. Jump attack it. So we didn't one-shot it, but... A lot of its health was reduced. Up the stairs, get another item. And this first section is complete. And now if you follow our strategy, uh, you will not die so much. And of course you won't lose your souls so often. Do the best you can though. Every player has his own, his and her own style. So, it's time to go on ahead. You can't pick up that item. We'll get it when we fall. So, as soon as you fall, roll back. Because an enemy will drop down on you. You might take some damage, we're not saying you won't, but um, it'll lessen the deaths you'll have. They are all using dark damage. Right, we can gradually begin to pick up items and we need to change the weapon because it's not doing that so, so much damage as the claymore is, does okay take out that summoner
Remember, if enemies keep crawling on the ground and keep spawning, um, you've missed a summoner. Know that you've missed a summoner somewhat. Uh, they only appear when then they're called from the ones with the sta staffs. Okay, there's another summoner here. It doesn't look like we can target her yet. We'll get to the item soon. So let's get the next summoner. Okay, good. Let's hide here. So going undercover will be very, very helpful in the Ring City. Not against the bosses, but against these basic enemies. Right, pick up. That should be it. Pick up that other item. And let's go up these uh, steps to get one more item. Now another enemy will drop down as soon as you pick it up, so be prepared. Just go forward, roll back, and um, it shouldn't catch you. And remember, this shield raises your health bar. Okay, let's take out the last fight for the last enemy and pick up the murky hand scythe. So this section is complete. And let's go forward. It's so nice that we don't have the angel attacking us. Alright, light in here. Now an enemy will come out of the floor as soon as you cr go around the corner here, so trigger it. And let's go and get a ring. That is progress. Now the three knights uh, inside that archway we're going to take out with pyromancy. So we're boost Wear anything that can boost your pyromancy. We're just going to change some rings. And let's take them on under cover. The two knights are down. Now we're going to come back to the cell. We need to. On and off, we'll be coming back and forth for a bit. For now, we go up this broken down uh, tower, and you're going to meet your second NPC. He will be available for the first boss fight in the area. Oh. Look at you. You've got your head screwed on, correct? Fantastic. To meet a kindred spirit on this god's forsaken crag. Call me Lab. I, I can't remember my real name, so let's just go with that. 
I have a feeling we're going to make a fabulous team. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Oh, in all honesty, there's something I should tell you. I'm... a hollow. Yes. I try to play it off. But I haven't a clue about my past. Who I was. Or what I lived for. Not even my own blessed name. That's why I've come here, searching for the Purging Monument. Said to be in the Ringed City, where the pygmies who found the Dark Soul at the Dawn of Fire reside. All I can say is, those little stones aren't doing much to help me remember anymore. <laughs> well, that's the long and short of it. So if I completely forget who you are, don't be wroth with me. Come on, what else can I say? I'm a bloody hollow for heaven's sake. <laughs> well, that's the long... So don't forget to exhaust the NPC's dialogue. Now, if you had dropped from the um, main area, as opposed to taking the shortcut where the knights were, uh, it leads you back to the same section. I mean, it just loops around. But if you want an NPC to help you in a boss in the boss fight, you need to talk to Lap to trigger his quest line. Uh, if you don't talk to him here. Uh, you will not see his summon sign outside the boss gate. So keep that in mind. We'll be coming back to this little section. Let's take out this enemy. And we're going to get an item below. We are going for that item, so don't, 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 don't fight any enemy here. They're, they're very powerful. It's one of those big uh, enemies, and the only way to take out nearly all of his health is to jump attack it, which you can't do once you drop down. So just go after the item, and then drop where you'll see the creator's sign. Uh, just follow what we do. Straight ahead, pick up the item and drop down. Alright, and we're at the second bonfire. So we need to go back again. Up there. And to get the two very important items. Now we did pick them up. And for some reason we didn't record it. So we're just going to show you where exactly they are. We're going to take the ordinary path. Which is down here. enemies have respawned 
except the angel, which is very, very important. You can run past these basic enemies. Take the same route. Crash through the ceiling. Right. And drop down. You'll pass the lights and you'll go right. Here on the left you'll find a titanite chunk if you want you can get it and here so go through this section in the corner get the stuff break down this wall illusionary go up the steps straight in up those steps and straight ahead is the great uh, is a spell kick this ladder Now, on that wooden platform, if you drop down to that balcony, you'll find um, an item. You'll stay on the corner here, you'll be safe. There's no other item in this section, so we've completed basically the first section. And let's homeward out. And you should have the murky longstaff and in your spells, great soul tracks. We need those two items to tackle the boss in um, the other DLC, Ashes of Ariandel. Right. Take the same route, drop and drop go under cover crash through the ceiling you can't do all this in one straight playthrough you need to go back and forth a bit to pick up all the items right disregard the enemies here you've picked up all the items in that area drop here Go under cover. Go the same route you took for the NPC lap. He's gone, he's transferred to the bonfire. And we're going to go this way again. And we're going to drop where the enemy is. We're going to drop straight down. So take this one out. So instead of dropping left, we're going to drop straight down. You won't get hurt from fall damage because there's white ash on the ground. Just drop, don't jump. Good. Hide behind this wall. Prepare yourself. There's a knight ahead. So we are going to take it out with pyromancy. Now there's also two summoners. Um, we delayed to kill the second summoner so the enemies will keep coming. So try to take out the two summoners as quickly as you can, quicker than we did. So first we go for the knight. Now he can buff himself, so... And we got caught by one enemy. As soon as you get away, Perk your health up. Mm -hmm. 
Now, because we delayed in uh, attacking the second summona, the second summona called the third summona. <laughs> you'll, you'll see it. So take out both as quickly as you can. You can see enemies keep spawning. They, they, they never end. So always run away to get your health up. You have a lot of space here. You could say this corridor is your safe area. Called a third song. Take out this enemy. And let's go for the second summoner. Um, he or she is between the columns there. the item for now. So all summoners are dead. Uh, we need to take out the remaining enemies. There is one more enemy, it will appear as soon as you stand and look over the edge here. Now we've never used projected heal, so we might use it in the boss fight. So the other enemy comes up here on the ground. Pull yourself out of its clutches. Okay. And that's it, there's no more enemies, <laughs> we promise. So, in order to raise your health far quicker, keep that shield on, put the Sun Prince's sh um, ring on, and put a bless and hold a blessed weapon in your hand. You'll see how quickly our health bar rises. And there would it where it would take three to four minutes it only takes one to two minutes it's half time maybe less always keep an eye on your essence flask how much you have use these little tricks to raise your health bar if you can and that's why the game gives you these um, extra elements There's, don't drop down, there's two knights below, we're going to take them out with your arrows. Be patient, they can kill you. Take both of them out from up here where you're safe. And don't be hasty in Dark Souls, especially the DLCs because they are very, um, they're extremely hard. And if they seem hard now, in your first walkthrough, imagine how harder they are in your second and third walkthrough. Okay, they're down. So let's fall, pick up any item we have. And 
if you peer over, you'll notice we're back at the second bonfire. So it loops around, actually. And the NPC Lap has appeared here. So we need to talk to him. Exhaust his dialogue. Oh, I know who you are. <laughs> Great to see you still in one piece. Come on. I can see why they call this the dreg heap at the world's end. Mangled remnants from every age and every land. It actually sort of lends credence to the old rumours that the ringed city rests below it all. Ah, uh, <laughs> don't mind me. You needn't worry yourself with this nonsense. I just wanted to tell someone. And I'm sick of old Hunty. I should stay quiet. Wait, I'll make it up to you. By letting you in on a secret of sorts. Past here, you'll find the remains of a giant earthen tower, half submerged in a poisonous swamp. Not a very nice place to visit. Only, there's precious treasure in the thick of the swamp. I didn't have any use for it, you see. So, sorry, I, I left the whole package behind. If I get the chance, I, I could go fetch it for you. But if that's too long to wait, go nab it for yourself. I know who you are. A righteous warrior. Yes? With a solemn duty to boot. Well, grab that treasure. That's as good a duty as any. Past here, you'll find the remains of a giant earthen tower, half submerged in a poison... Right. Travel to another area. Return here. Keep doing that until you find um, um, lap standing below the rocks there. Oh, there you are. Perfect timing. You remember that treasure? In the thick of the poison swamp. Well, I fetched it for you. As promised. Oh, it was only a hop and a skip. I needed a rest from old Nan over there. Here. Go ahead. It's yours. Maybe it'll help you with that solemn duty of yours. This really is a dreg heap at the world's end. Mangled remnants from every age and every land. It actually sort of lends credence to the old rumors that the ringed city rests below it all. This really is a dreg heap at... And we'll be doing the poison swamp in our next video. Thank you so much for watching.